Yo, 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 what's up guys, your boy Rick. And on today's episode, we're gonna be doing a couple of drill motor tests. We're gonna be comparing the Ryobi 12 volt drill motor versus the rigid 12 volt drill motor. All right guys, so what we're gonna be doing today is a couple of tests. We're gonna see which one of these is the lightest. You know, out in the field or at home, sometimes you just want the lighter drill, but you don't wanna give up that performance. Uh, we're gonna be uh, seeing which battery lasts the longest. Everybody wants a longer lasting battery, so you don't have to change out as often. Uh, we're gonna do a couple zip ties on the trigger to see which one runs the longest. And you know, we're gonna do a performance test. We're gonna torque and speed and uh, drill some stuff. Check it out. All right guys, so first up, we got the rigid 12 volt model. This is the model R8200-5K. First off, it's uh, 400 pounds of torque. That's a nice amount of torque for a nice little drill. It's got a real sleek design, I like it. It's not a very bulky battery. It looks pretty cool. Nice color design, I like it. It's got a removable belt hook, pretty cool. I like to leave those on, I don't ever take them off. If you're up in the ladder somewhere, you can just put the battery to your side, don't have to worry about it falling. This bad boy's got a LED light. I love LED lights. Anytime you're somewhere dark, you know, you, you can see you light this bad boy up and you can see what you're doing. Other cool thing about this bad boy is that it's got a battery indicator. When the battery is getting low, that LED light's gonna start blinking. Pretty cool, I like that feature. It's got a 3 8 chuck, it's 12 volts, so you don't, you're not really gonna look for a half, half inch chuck or one of these. And the cool thing about this, I just checked this out, it's got a hex grip design on it which is really, really cool. If uh, you, you know, if you don't want to drop it or anything, it's got a nice grip on it. It's pretty nice touch to this drill. And of course it's got two speeds, you know, high and low. So all in all, I think it's a pretty cool design. And for 89 bucks, I mean, I think it's a pretty good price. It also comes with a second battery. So uh, what do you guys think? It's got the cool carrying pack, secondary battery, sleek design, pretty cool colors, nice grip. 89 bucks, good deal. Is it, is it not? Comment below. This is the Ryobi 12 volt drill motor. It's the model HJP004. It's got a lithium ion battery. It only comes with one battery, no carrying case. It comes with the charger, of course. It's a 3 8 chuck. It's got 22 positions, but it's only got one speed on this model. It's got a belt clip, pretty cool, love belt clips. Anytime you're working up above and you don't wanna have the drill in your hand, cool to have a belt clip. It comes with a double end bit. You can store it right on the drill. The Ryobi model comes with an LED light, pretty cool. Again, pretty standard nowadays for most drills. Uh, everybody's, you know, going to the LED light a little bit brighter. Always cool to have. Got a nice grip on it. I like it, you know, pretty good. I like it. All right, so now we're gonna put the Ryobi and the Rigid on the scale, you know, see which one weighs the most. So we got the Rigid drill coming in at two pounds and five ounces. The Ryobi drill comes in at two pounds, seven ounces. So now for the next test, we're gonna take the Ryobi and the Rigid and take a couple three inch screws. We've got the two by six piece of wood here set up and we're gonna drill them in and then reverse out and see how they add up against each other. So we're gonna test the speed and the torque of these two bad boys and uh, see which one comes out on top. All right guys, so here's the Ryobi versus the Rigid. We're gonna do a little test here. Uh, again, the Ryobi, only one speed. Rigid comes with two speeds. And uh, we have the rigid on high speed, Ryobi, you know, one speed again, like I said. And we have the torque settings on the clutch set up as, as high as it'll go. We're gonna go ahead and drill these anchors down and then reverse back out. Let's see what happens. All right guys, so for the next test, we went ahead and charged up both of these batteries. They're both fully charged. We're gonna go ahead and do a little battery test. I don't even know how the thing goes. Plug this bad boy in. Pretty cool battery, actually just snaps right in. We're gonna go ahead and uh, test them and see which one lasts the longest. So the Ryobi 12 volt drill came in at 22 minutes and five seconds. The rigid 12 volt drill came in at 27 minutes and 53 seconds, almost 28 minutes. All right guys, final showdown, rigid Ryobi 12 volt drill motors. I don't know, what do you guys think? Rigid, Ryobi, Here's my thoughts. With the battery test, you guys saw that the rigid was just under 28 minutes. 
That thing lasted forever, I fell asleep. The Ryobi, a little bit over 22 minutes, so you know, about a five minute difference, battery life wise. You know, they're both about the same weight. You got 2.7, 2.5, two ounce difference. It's not really gonna matter, at least not in terms of drills. As far as, you know, performance you guys saw, for me, the Rigid felt a little bit more durable, more sturdy, you know, more torquey. I like the Rigid. I like the sleek design. The battery is nice and compact. I like this, it comes with a belt clip. You know, you don't wanna drop this thing when you're in the air, hit somebody in the head, oh, that would suck. Two batteries. Charger's kinda big for my taste for, for such a small drill, but it comes with a cool carrying case. I mean, I like to keep my things together, that way I don't lose stuff. 90 bucks, you know? Ryobi, 50 bucks. One battery. The charger's kinda cool, pretty sleek, you know, small. I like it. It's got only one speed, I mean, Honestly, one speed, two speed, you know, it makes a difference. They both got the LEDs. Hold on. Yeah, they're, they're pretty bright. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, but anyways, 90 bucks, 50 bucks. I would say something like this. If you're not gonna do a lot of, you know, do yourself stuff, maybe just here and there around the house, pretty good deal, 50 bucks. Three year warranty, but for, for 40 more bucks, lifetime warranty. I kind of like that. Honestly, if I was gonna do a little more work around the house, if I'm more of a do-it-yourself and I wanna do a lot of projects, I'm going with the rigid, but I guess it really comes down to application that you're gonna do, but uh, I'm, I like the rigid. That's my honest opinion, but you know, what do you guys think? Comment below. Wanna thank you guys for tuning in and uh, watching this episode. Now, you know, if you guys liked it, go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys wanna find out more about these tools and where you can get them, go ahead, click on the links below, down here somewhere. And uh, if you guys find this information useful, make sure to subscribe to the channel. This is Rick signing off. Till next time, guys. Catch you later. One way to learn a better or the best way of doing anything is to watch and analyze the skill.